I try to go into games as little as possible. I like sauce, and I've learned that having any sort of meat balls can ruin the spaghetti. No Man's Sky had so much money surrounding it that it was near impossible to avoid disappointment. The lead developer, Sean Howard, apparently lied about dozens of mountains that are now unclimbable. I didn't have those expectations. I had no shoes, and I can tell you that this game is hot. To call No Man's Sky a finished game would be an insult to finish. It's like playing Ocarina of Time, except it's not. There's a larger cock in the player's own ass than the endless space that surrounds you. And look, I understand that some of you might unsub me on the spot, but you shouldn't unless you enjoy being dead. <laughs> no. <laughs> the biggest reason that I don't feel awful about killing niggers is the game's price. If this was a $10 indie experiment, then I would be positive it would have shitty pixel graphics, but it doesn't. So let's answer the question that I kept seeing posted everywhere leading up to the game's release, even though I was actively avoiding the IR desk. Well, you find and collect semen in No Man's Sky in order to make it easier for you to suck dick. That's it. That's the game. The thing is though, you might not like it because it's boring. Getting back to the planets though, some of them will have stuff on them, some won't. All of them have the same core layout of literally nothing. I can say the same thing about your life layout. And this keeps going with the rest of the game. There's always money and free stuff on every planet, because otherwise it'd be possible to run out of memes to fuel your depression. So what's the point of it then? Why even bother if it's not real? What? Every time you meet an alien, the game has sex with your waifu, and you will meet hundreds of aliens. This is bad enough, but the aliens don't speak gobbledygook. This is so extreme that even after learning hundreds of words in the alphabet language, most of the speech was still an unreadable line of wing dings. It often makes no sense either. One time I walked into the trader room, and the alien there killed me. But the game is so poorly coded that I respawned inside of his asshole. Unfortunately, I can still keep going. The game has no style. It has no grace. The same goes for anime. More often than not, you're watching the same moe shit over and over. This is the final thing I'll say before I go and stroke in my massively long direction. See, the game as it is now is clearly about wasting time. You're given this whole planet to explore, but why bother? The sky belongs to no man. There's no reason to do anything. I make a commitment to murder each game that I play for the channel, even if that isn't important to all of my viewers. Too bad, lol. The game told me that I should go to hell if I wanted to have fun. So I started my journey and I saw that the sauce had barely moved with my first jump. Immediately the temptation came to destroy the universe again. I had already completed the other progression path in the game to find the seven super emeralds and to become god. The final feature I haven't mentioned yet are the steam refunds. These are another way to beat the game without killing yourself. Except there's a catch. Some people paid full price for the console version of the game. See the problem here? How is that possible when the PS4 has no games? As for reaching the center of the galaxy, the end of my journey confirmed what everyone was saying. No Man's Sky fucking sucks. All that was left for me was to turn the game off. And I did it. And now I'm gonna do something really stupid. I just...